Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruning. And I'm Erin McBride. ODOT crews in southeastern Ohio had their hands full with the remnants of Hurricane Ida. High water was a big issue, mostly in ODOT districts 5, 10, and 11. At one point, nearly 30 roadways were impacted by flooding. You can see how the heavy rain caused part of State Route 150 in Jefferson County to slip. Some of the worst flooding was in Noble County, where high water closed the interchange at I-77 and State Route 821 for several hours. It's always a good time to remind you that you should never drive through high water or around barricades. Turn around, don't drown. Mowing. It's a balance between making our roadsides look like a golf course and a natural prairie. Our Who New Guru shows us how we do it. ODOT has a lot of grass to mow. In fact, we take care of 80,000 acres along 19,000 miles of roadway all across the state. And here in Scioto County, things look really good. In the past, ODOT mowed everything before each summer holiday, from Memorial Day, Independence Day, and Labor Day. But there was also a downside. It cost a lot of time and money and was hurting pollinators that farmers rely on to grow food. So, in May 2018, we implemented a new mowing guideline which reduced the number of full mowbacks from four times per year to once per year. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Look, who knew? I love bees, I love butterflies, but come on, our roadsides, they look all grown up. What gives? Well, ODOT will always mow the medians in clear zones, 30 feet from the edge of the pavement, to maintain line of sight and safe recovery zones. Urban areas get mowed more often to maintain clear views for communities and businesses, and ODOT is required by law to control noxious weeds. But reducing our mowing and using growth inhibitors and targeted herbicides help us keep the pollinators happy. Our roadside safe and nearly two million of our tax dollars would be used for something else. Who knew? Thanks, Dave. Well, check out this hardware for ODOT from the Mid-America Association of State Transportation Officials, also known as MASTO, annual meeting in Chicago last week. The Charlesbury Bascule Bridge Rehab Project in Lorain County took home the prize for Quality of Life Community Development Medium Project. The Unmanned Aerial Systems Center won for the best use of technology and innovation small project. Before we wrap things up, I want to show you this really cool fan mail we got from Our Flower Hub. He actually makes these for all kinds of different designs, but here's one for ODOT, and it's really neat. We got to put it together, and we really appreciate the nice thought and sentiment for sending that to us. Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. Follow us on social media, and keep sending story ideas and feedback to loop at dot.ohio.gov. And now, you're in the loop. <laughs> <laughs>